Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I am presenting an unbelievable 1976 Triumph TR6 convertible that has 5,619 original miles. definition of an unbelievable survivor. It is probably the lowest mileage TR6 known to exist in the world. If it's not the lowest, it sure has got to be one of the lowest. The car has an unbelievable story, which I'm going to go over with you in a minute. It has uh, tons of documentation that's included. Um, I want to say a few things first. Um, over the years, uh, if you've been following MS Classic Cars, uh, you know that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. I really like vehicles that are high quality. Uh, from time to time, I will purchase a survivor car if it fits the mold of what I'm looking for. Um, if people uh, look this car up, they will see that we sold a 1971 Datsun 240Z on Bring a Trailer in January of 2020. Uh, that vehicle was the best survivor that I had ever owned. Um, I never thought that I would find anything like it. That car had uh, mileage in the 20s. It had a great story, just like this car does. I kind of figured that was a, a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Uh, if you Google that vehicle, uh, it sold for $310,000, which was absolutely epic. Um, something that you just never think in your mind that you'll ever go back to. Uh, and here we are today, fast forward, uh, at the end of August 2020, I'm doing this video and I'm sitting behind the wheel of a car that is uh, almost exactly like the Datsun. Um, it's like deja vu. This particular vehicle uh, doesn't have mileage in the 20s. It actually has mileage, again, 5,619 original miles. This car retains all of the original paint which I'm going to do a, another video following this video. Make sure you watch it with an electronic paint meter. I did that on the Datsun to prove that this vehicle has all the original paint. Um, it has all of the original interior. The engine compartment uh, is absolutely uh, original, uh, original motor, uh, driveline, and so forth. The undercarriage is all original as well. This car even sits on the original tires. So again, it's too good to be true, uh, but it is, uh, it's here, right here, right now. So to start, uh, I, I called this car uh, the Holy Grail simply because um, this vehicle was in a magazine, which I'll flip to here, I'll kind of go fast forward. It was in the Triumph uh, magazine here. The name of it is called the Vintage Triumph. It's a magazine for Vintage Triumph Register. Um, there's a whole story that was done about this particular car. They referenced it as the Holy Grail, kind of a cool deal. It's right here, finding the Holy Grail. This is kind of a story about the vehicle and how the second owner who I acquired the car from got the car, 
uh, his love for it, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this magazine, also another copy of this magazine will be included. So there's two copies, um, which kind of goes over the whole story. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up uh, to the story on this car. I'm gonna dedicate uh, this whole listing to the gentleman who purchased this car brand new. Uh, his name was James Casper. Um, I actually uh, found his wife's name uh, online and contacted his wife. Uh, her name is Patricia Casper. It was a great conversation her and I had about the car, the history, James, etc. cetera. Uh, so I was really able to put some of the pieces of the puzzle together. Uh, so again, I, I can't tell you enough how special of a car this is. Uh, getting into some of the documentation here, you'll find when you're looking at uh, cars, especially European cars, to find vehicles that have tons of documentation is extremely difficult. We did have a limited amount of documentation on the Datsun, but nowhere near the documentation like I'm going to show you today. So we're going to start uh, with the original window sticker, which is here. You can still see the sticky stuff that was actually on the window sticker. It's as clear as day. The Quint window sticker uh, shows the original dealer here, which is out of Warren, Ohio. Uh, you'll see the color of the car, Carmine Red with black interior. It even has the engine number uh, on the window sticker, which obviously matches the engine number uh, and so forth. It goes over all the standard features. This car was ordered with a tonneau cover. It also uh, has Michelin X radial tires. These are the original tires that are still on the car today. They're red lines. Um, this letter here was written uh, by the dealership owner. Uh, he signed it here. He was writing James Casper, basically telling him that he had some vehicles in stock. You'll notice this was March 30th of 76. Uh, if you look at this first bill of sale here, it was February 28th of 76. He actually ordered it as a 75 directly from the dealership. When they announced that they weren't gonna be building the TR6 after 1976, production got a little bit uh, sketchy. This order that's on here, which the receipt for the order for the $50 deposit he gave him is included. This uh, deal here was canceled. So again, the owner wrote a letter and was telling him the vehicles that he had in stock, Carmine with tan interior. Uh, James really wanted black interior. So long story short, and look at the envelope to the uh, letter that was sent is still included in here, which is really cool. Um, so. In May of 19, uh, 1976, it was May 27th to be exact, um, he had this vehicle come in uh, from an order that he had placed. Again, this was the last year of production for a TR6. And you will notice up here it says tonneau cover, Michelin X tires, AM FM radio. So it clearly shows this vehicle that I'm sitting in today with the serial number that uh, he ordered. The receipt for his deposit that he had given them. And he also had, this was on June, third of 76, he had the luggage rack installed that you see in the back of the vehicle. Uh, that was like a $69.40 charge with parts and labor. So that's really cool. Um, there's a, a Federal Trade Commission disclaimer here that he had signed for the dealership for financing. There's a receipt for the company that he actually financed through. Very important that he decided to uh, keep this car as original as possible to keep it from rusting, these vehicles were known to rust. He sent it to Youngstown Auto Truck Rust Proofing, which was in Youngstown, Ohio, on June 24th of 1976, very shortly after he got the car, and he had it completely Z-barred, which is a process in which they apply all these yellow tabs, which you'll see in our photo gallery, which are all in the door jams. They're in corners of the engine compartment, uh, the trunk compartment area, you'll see them in there. And then what they did is they shoot the entire car with a rust proofing material, which is all over the engine bay, firewall, inner fenders, portion of the radiator support. They coated the entire undercarriage of the car. And what that does is again, it, it, it stops rust from happening. So he invested $131 in that. Back then that was a pretty big cost to do that because again, he wanted to keep the car as original as possible. Um, there's also the warranty card on the Z-Bart. Uh, there's some ads that he had saved from the Z-Bart deal. This gets into the application by purchaser for Ohio. This basically is all his registration work, his titling work. Here's a state of Ohio uh, certificate of title that shows all his information. 
and then all the service records. I have documented from 1976 all the way, if you look at every single receipt here, that was done all the way until 2005 um, when this vehicle was serviced. And throughout its entire life, he treated this car like a child. His wife said this was his prized possession. He knew that it was canceled 1976. He had the gut feeling this was gonna be very collectible. So he cherished it. He only wanted to take it out for special occasions. She said she was never able to actually drive the vehicle, but he always wanted her as a passenger to keep him company when they went for rides around the block and so forth. Um, and they obviously kept the mileage extremely low. So getting into some of these articles here, these are original newspaper clippings that he had actually cut uh, out of newspapers. A lot of this was uh, stuff about uh, the Triumph TR6, the dealership that he bought it from. Uh, again, he had the inclination that this vehicle was gonna be very collectible. One thing that I do wanna mention, uh, back to these service receipts for a second here, um, I went through every single service receipt. Um, he was very methodical about keeping these receipts. All of these receipts clearly document the mileage that are on the car. So when you go back all the way to 1976, uh, you'll notice like the mileage is here. When you go all the way fast forward to, you know, say 1995 as an example, the mileage is here as well. I mean, it's all the way through the entire existence of the car. The mileage was documented, which is great. And I also want to make note that the work that was done to this car was never more then oil changes, carburetor tune-ups, a couple of uh, receipts in here document that he did the uh, heater uh, cable. It was just a few minor things that he did, uh, a couple of batteries, things like that. Um, so I would say that from all the research I've done and all the things I've looked at, very, very, very little parts on this car have ever been replaced. Um, so. Getting into a few more things that are included, besides all this information in this binder that I've done, I put everything in methodical order here with plastic sleeves. We have the owner's manual for this car. We also have the original radio manuals. Um, this is actually really unique from the research I've done. This is the passport to service, shows his name, it shows the selling dealer, and it shows his information. This is all based on warranty and maintenance records that the dealership uh, provided, which is really cool. And last but not least, uh, this is also included. There's a few original photos of the car that was taken in his driveway with his Ohio plates. This is from the uh, 80s. Um, it even says TR comma 666 on his plate, which is really cool. So that's included as well. Um, unfortunately, James passed um, and his wife, was a bit overwhelmed with all the things that he had had. So what uh, she decided to do was she decided to hook up with this auction company here. Um, this is the name of the auction company here, Bashinger Auction Service and so forth. They're out of Ohio. And what they did is they actually made a list of outstanding collectibles. This was all the things that he had collected in his lifetime. Um, obviously the Triumph was the highlight of the collection. There was new vehicle brochures, car magazines, there was taxidermy head mounts, there was uh, scones, there was books uh, in different papers, there was collectibles, there was clocks, there was toys, furniture, musical stuff, etc. You can see that James had a real passion for collectibles. And in this article that they put together here for the advertisement, it states, 1976 Triumph TR6 convertible, one owner, 3,703 original miles. They even spelled it out in the words, Carmine Red, black convertible top and seats, unrestored and original showroom condition. So the proof is in the pudding as well. This also includes here the bill of sale. This vehicle was sold at the auction to the gentleman that I actually purchased the vehicle from. He had it from 2010 all the way to 2020. So he had the vehicle for a little over 10 years. After he bought the vehicle, um, he lived in Maryland. He actually took it to a company who serviced it. Uh, that company actually, he, he basically put on here that he wants to make it safe and reliable for occasional use. He wanted to do a tune-up. Uh, he just said that he wanted to also have them detail it. So they did a little bit of work to the brakes. The brakes at the time were dragging. They had to put brake cylinders um, and they also had to put new shoe, uh, shoes on the rear. Uh, they got the original calipers to stop sticking. They did an oil change. 
Uh, he replaced some of the brake hoses. Um, he also re uh, uh, installed a replacement clutch slave cylinder for the clutch. Um, he did all the fluids, um, and then he bought uh, new wheels and new tires for this vehicle so he could drive it. Um, I did not get those wheels and tires from him. I wanted the original wheels and tires, which are on the car now. Uh, so he invested uh, about $4,000 in this car in 2010, just kind of going through it mechanically to make sure it was worthy. Uh, since then, you know, when he got the car, as this documents, it had 3,788 miles. It now has 5,619 miles. So you can see how much it's been driven in the last 10 years. These are more receipts. And last but not least, to finish this story here, he joined the Vintage Triumph Register. He actually uh, got his membership here, and uh, they wrote him a letter. They actually told him what they were going to include, which was these magazines that I mentioned before about the story of the car. So this car was really never truly marketed, um, kind of a unique way of how I found the car. The auction company didn't really do a great job in marketing the car either. So this is not a vehicle that has exchanged tons of hands. It's a documented two-owner vehicle. Um, it's a super, super car that I'm extremely proud of. Um, so what I'd like to do is kind of go over um, the exterior, the interior, the engine compartment, and the undercarriage, and uh, go ahead and start it, let you listen how beautiful it runs. Now, starting uh, with the exterior of this vehicle, um, the exterior is in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, I am gonna do a presentation video, as I mentioned before, with the electric paint meter. I'm also, when I'm walking around the vehicle, I am gonna point out any imperfections so everybody clearly knows uh, where the imperfections are. But I will go on record and say this. Uh, the body is super straight. Obviously, it's never been taken apart. The way the doors open and close is awesome. The way the hood opens and closes, the way the deck lid opens and closes, um, it's really a beautiful, beautiful body. I would say that the paint job, since we've uh, detailed it, shines beautifully. It presents itself like a car that was restored. I think the exterior of this car is much nicer than your, your restored Triumph TR6 that's currently uh, you know, on the market for sale. This is definitely a beautiful car. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, it retains 100% of the original factory Carmine red paint. Um, you will see in our photo gallery, the con black convertible top is in beautiful condition. The top actually uh, mounts very simply. It snaps in the back. Um, can't brag enough about the condition of the top. The convertible boot cover, the tonneau cover, all of that stuff is original and it's included. It's all in beautiful condition. We posted that within our photo gallery. Um, as I've mentioned, uh, the wheels and the tires are original to the vehicle. We've taken date uh, uh, code pictures along with the tire, the date codes of the tires. We've broken everything down within our description to document that those are original to the vehicle. Everything on the vehicle, to my knowledge, just from looking at part numbers and stuff, is original to the car. Uh, talking about the lenses, talking about uh, the mirror, talking about the bumpers, uh, the decals, things like that. Uh, everything is in original condition. One thing I will also mention is it does have the dealership sticker on the back rear section uh, behind uh, me and the driver's side. You will see that back there. It's beautiful. And there's a GB Great Britain attachment to um, the license plate, which is back there as well. I decided to put that back on the vehicle uh, because that's what James had added to it when he bought it. Um, so again, the outside of this vehicle is in beautiful condition. The front windshield and the two uh, side windows are original and they have the stamps right from the factory. Uh, obviously, the original Vintag is here and so forth. So again, I cannot say enough about the exterior of this vehicle. Getting into the interior, uh, you will clearly see from this video here and from our photos within the gallery, sitting in this car is like sitting in a brand new vehicle. Uh, everything in this interior is original. Um, what I've done in the photo gallery is I went to the extent of taking up the carpets, which actually snap on in the front here. You will see the original insulation uh, and you will see how beautiful the red floors are. We did that uh, with our Datsun 241 uh, listing. People really appreciate that to see how original everything was. I also took pictures of everything under the dash. So you can clearly see all the wiring, uh, all the hoses and things that have to do with the heating system, etc. 
Everything is in absolutely beautiful condition. The light works, even the glove box light in this vehicle. If you just move the camera over there, you can clearly see that that glove box light is even working. So the interior of this car is beautiful. If I were to say anything at all that would keep it from being showroom perfect, I would say um, uh, the, the sun visor here, this mirror has a little bit of uh, you know material that's kind of fallen from the actual sun visor into the mirror itself. Um, I would say that the door panels around some of the areas have a little bit of uh, waviness going on here that's very, very typical of that original material. Other than that, this is in showroom condition. The dash is beautiful. This walnut wood here is magnificent. All the gauges are beautiful. The steering wheel, door panels. I took real close up pictures of the seats so you can clearly see that these seats are impeccable. Uh, the carpeting, uh, all of the hardware in here, everything is in beautiful condition. Even the seat belts, I took pictures of the dates on the seat belts. Uh, I can't say enough about this interior. One last thing about the interior is everything is in working order. Uh, when we do our driving video, uh, make sure that you check that out because I'm gonna demonstrate how everything works in the interior. So again, we're gonna have this video, we're gonna have an exterior presentation video, and we're also gonna have a driving video. There'll be three videos of this car very important that you watch them. Getting to the engine compartment here, the engine compartment obviously was coated with Z-Bart. Uh, so the, all of that black that you see everywhere was done intentionally. Matter of fact, when they sprayed the Z-Bart, some of it got on the engine block. Um, this engine compartment has not been touched. It is 100% original. Nobody has painted anything in there. Uh, I was actually contemplating when we first got this car of pulling the engine out making it all pretty and everything and putting it back in. And then I decided I absolutely could not do that. I had to keep it as original as possible. Uh, again, the engine is a matching numbers engine. It's a 2.5 liter. Uh, it's a straight six cylinder. It runs absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's coupled to the original four speed transmission, which shifts beautiful. The clutch works beautiful. Uh, the car steers beautiful. It brakes beautiful. Uh, getting into the undercarriage, the undercarriage again was all coated with Z-Bart. Everything was covered underneath this car to prevent it from rusting. You can still see some areas of the engine compartment like on the firewall and on parts of the inner fenders. You can still see the original red paint from the factory. Same thing with the undercarriage as well. You can see that. Even the trunk compartment is all original back there. It still has the original spare with the spare tire. I mean, this is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's an unbelievable car. Just when I thought I would never find a survivor like our Datsun 240Z, here we are today. So enough of that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the car, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Uh, so make sure that uh, you check out those other two videos. For a complete listing, uh, you wanna visit msclassiccars.com. That's our description with all of our photos. Again, uh, you'll be super impressed with how special this car is. It's good. You see it starts instantly. It purrs like a kitten. Uh, I just started this car prior to starting it here. It only takes a few minutes for it to warm up. It runs absolutely beautiful. We appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.